y'all coming to you real quick to finally do the reveal, the flip through of Dale's Retro Journal. Um, if you haven't watched the previous video on Dale's Journal, we um, decided to do a swap. You serious, Clark? So I made Dale a Retro Journal and um, she wanted some of the paper dolls uh, in exchange for some Christmas items that I could use um, to make Christmas journals because y'all know I'm a crazy Christmas lady now. <laughs> Fabulous. So anyway, this journal was uh, so much fun to make and I have to tell you, I made it in one week. Who <laughs> doggy? Uh, I've never done that before. I mean from beginning to end. From the putting the cover together, coffee staining paper, the whole nine yards. Um, it did help a little bit that I had some of this stuff because I've already done two retro journals. So I had some stuff like prepped. Um, so that was a huge help. Anyway, let's get to the flip through. So first of all, the paper dolls, um, there's 25 paper dolls and Dale wanted um, one of the giant tabs. So I gave her a little template so she could make those tabs. And then y'all saw I'm also giving her three of the spine flowers. Uh, let's see, this journal is a behemoth. The measurements are nine and three quarters by eight. It has a two inch spine and y'all, it has a four and a half inch gaiter. Um, Dale requested that there be no writing space in this journal and I told her I'll do the best I can. <laughs> I've never done a journal with zero writing space. So because it started getting so massive, um, the gator, I had to back off and stop putting stuff in it. So there is a, a tiny minimal bit of writing space in this journal. Um, this is the front cover. This is the awesome spine. And this is the back. And yes, I am struggling. It's heavy. I don't know how much it weighs, y'all. But this is probably the heaviest journal I've ever made. Uh, I just love the cover, the colors of the front, the cover. Um, it has... Uh, three signatures. It's 128 pages back and front. Um, it's coffee stained. The pages are coffee stained. And there's a combination of original vintage ephemera and printables, but it's primarily vintage, original. So um, let's get started. This, I'm holding it up, y'all, because the gator is just, it's crazy. Um, these are from the Seventeen magazine, I believe, and um, we made a little pocket here with a tag, and I made these belly bands um, just out of blown up milk tab things, and there's just a lot of journaling cards in this journal. Um, this right here is Patty, if y'all, oh, maybe, no, you haven't seen that video yet. <laughs> Never mind. This is Patty. Um, and I just put uh, some yearbook pages in this, and this one is signed. And This is another yearbook page. This right here is just a decorated page. And this is um, an original photo from the 50s. 
And this, I have a bunch of these. Um, this was from a traveling salesman from 1953, and he would write to his wife and tell her how the sales are going. And this one is from Monroe, Louisiana. So, let me try to get this back in the envelope. And then um, I, won't, I won't bore y'all with the other ones. Um, there's three of these in this journal. So I'll just say this is the hotel. This right here is that crush ad in the magazine. And I just used the other half of the ad and made a tag out of it. So it goes perfectly with this. And you can see I used Dale's Whale Tails. Um, this was another ad in a magazine, a suede leather and macrame. And I made the pocket out of a magazine ad, and it looks like it's for some sort of makeup. And this is just a little tag. This right here is a printable. It's not an original. And I just used a smaller size to make the tag for that. And this is a giant pocket and it is original and the tag is original. I just loved working on this journal. I used a lot of, um, if y'all know Pam Vanny, uh, I used a lot of her tips and tricks for not being matchy matchy. Go check out Pam's channel. Um, she has been doing glue book uh, videos and I used a lot of her techniques in this journal. And Pam is actually also doing some D stashes y'all. So check those out. I just printed off this little um, Print, print out and I made a little bag out of it like a popcorn bag and um, here's some writing space Dale don't look at it <laughs> I just trimmed some of this made a little fabric flip with this little lady on here this is just decor just decor um, this right here is part of a vintage a recipe booklet and it's a little flip out and I used uh, this is actually an ad out of a magazine it looks like one of the housewife printables and I always leave the middle of my signatures blank uh, that's just how I do it and this right here the the letter behind this lady is original she is not, and then this is original, out of a recipe book. So I thought that was really cute to just add some of the housewives to that. And this right here is, I made a, this was all together. It was one photo, and I cut it in half, made this half the pocket, and this half the journaling card or tag. And this is just decor. Y'all saw that we made some of these tags. So those were fun. And this is just decor. This is a little journaling card. And some giant rickrack. And this right here is just a coffee stain page that is flipped over the page and another little journaling card in this little pocket and this is just decor you can like write a little saying there and some trim and this is the same thing as the other one the backgrounds are original out of a vintage recipe book and then the um, housewives are printables so I just love this idea of using them you know as like little tags and I put some trim right here and this is a little ad out of a magazine for secretarial school 
and another yearbook. These, I'm only going to show you one because they're all kind of the same. So I made these little retro envelopes, and there is a real report card in here from 6970. His grades are eh, all right, they're okay. And we put a little uh, pocket here with some tickets and a photo from the yearbook, and it's just a place to journal. So when you see the other ones, you'll know they're kind of the same. And then I added this uh, little vintage um, recipe booklet. So it has lots of yummy little recipes in there. And then this right here, these are out of a re vintage recipe booklet. And I just added two of the pages to go in here. So, love it, love it, love it. And this right here, the shoes pocket, I added a little tag. Um, that was from a vintage magazine vintage magazine y'all I'm just gonna quit if it's a printable I'll <laughs> let you know because the majority of it is from a vintage magazine um, so this was part of the photo and I used this for the pocket and this for the tag and I think that is just adorable and we made these uh, tags together and I just added flowers to it so this is another yearbook page with some signatures and a yearbook page and another tag how cute are those and this um, picture idea of the week. I made a pocket out of that and then the tag that kind of goes with it. And this is another hotel letter and a, an original photo. And I fussy cut this little tab bottle out and this is another uh, magazine page. And this is another one of those tags we made. and uh, just another page this is a pocket and I didn't is it a pocket yes I need to remind myself to maybe put something in that um, this is another journaling card and this right here I fussy cut out this phone and then I added these two little thin uh, ladies that you can put um, phone numbers down on those and just stick all your phone numbers in this little phone and this is another tag and giant rick rack another little journaling card and another journaling card And this is the middle of the second signature. Another journaling card. Love this photo. All of these came out of the magazine. No thanks. This is a little secretarial school ad. And she is a little secretary. And... This is just decor, decor, and um, this is just a little tag, and this is an ad for mouthwash, secretarial school. This is another little tag. Oh, they're actually quite big. These are two bingo cards. 
that I added some of the magazine stuff on and this is from a magazine this is from a magazine that is a printable and another little tag a yearbook one of the envelopes and a giant journaling card for die and some giant rickrack and the third signature just a journaling card um, these are just two basic orange tags with some whale tails on them um, they're orange with white polka dots and this is just a giant journaling card and another yearbook photo that was signed I mean a yearbook page and this is a printable another envelope a hotel envelope and another tag and just another journaling card printable and another basic orange tag with the whale tail of course this is from a, a recipe book just made like a little flip out and a journaling card and this is just decor that's for a college another magazine tag and I love this little pom-pom trim they're like tiny little pom-poms and another journaling card another journaling card those are printables but these are from a magazine they were together and I just split it in half so that's really cute two little journaling cards and this is from a yearbook uh, from Irving, Texas, a pet office supply and just a journaling card and that is another journaling card and another ad another journaling card just decor another one of those coffee stained papers on retro paper and another little journaling card another tag those turned out so cute love them look how cute they are and this is from a magazine and a yearbook page somebody signed it another envelope with a they all have um, like a little report card in it and another journaling card and two journaling cards from the magazine and that is it <laughs> that is it so I hope that y'all enjoy this flip through Dale by the time oh this is another thing by the time that Dale sees this video she will already have this <laughs> so Dale I hope that it got there safe um, I hope that you're enjoying it I hope that you do like it um, I haven't made one like this before so um, I hope that everyone, uh, you know, kind of got a kick out of some of the interesting uh, images in this. And I hope everyone is doing well. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Subscribe for more content.